What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today, in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Myst Survival. It's a game that I played a while back and actually really liked it. This game is very primitive, it's very early on, but you can see the idea that they're getting towards, where you have like a daytime period where you're out like grabbing resources and kind of first person surviving, and then like the mist rolls in randomly. Sometimes like in the middle of the day, sometimes in the middle of the night. It just rolls in, and then all of a sudden there's zombies everywhere, and you've got like this chaos you've got to deal with. And I really enjoyed myself the last time I played it. It's had a couple updates, so I figure we'll check it out again. And see what they've added, what's new, what we're playing around with, and see if it's something that you want to add to your collection. Because after all, that is my function as an indie guy. I find the games, I set them up, you knock them down. So let's do this thing. Three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered many parts of the world. Many people got sick and died, and many of those who survived suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious when touched by the fog, seeking fresh meat to feed upon like other humans. You were one of very few who was immune to the mist. All right! You survived in a camp with others before it was attacked by creatures unlike any you had ever seen before. You survived and escaped into the night. A new day dawns. New day dawns! Alright. Well, apparently I went through that little list that they gave me. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, so we're just going to have to do this one step at a time. That's an inventory upgrade right there. I'll take that. Yup, my backpack just got more bigger. Okay. Uh, I will take canned fruit, apparently. And then also, we've got a cola right now. It's Coca-Cola. Alright, Coca-Cola. We've also got some matches for lighting fires. Uh, it looks like we can harvest stuff, maybe? Or not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that menu doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh, there we go. So what happens if I harvest that right there? What if I what if I harvest that with, like, a saw? Apparently nothing. All right. Well, I'm in the middle of a forest right now. It's kind of spooky out here. Got, like, a red... Well, there's cars over here. We're in, like, a redwood situation right now. There's a house over there, too. All right. We'll hit this up. Then we'll go over to that house, we'll kick our way in, we'll do some crazy John Wick stuff, spray some bullets at some bad guys, hopefully walk away from this one completely and totally taking the W. I can't promise anything, though. I remember, frankly, like nothing about this game from when I played it like a year ago. I just remembered that I really, really had fun playing it, and I wanted to play it again now that it's updated some more. Anything in the trunk? There are no lootses in the trunkses. Ooh, a blueberry! Nice, dude. I'll take that. Nothing inside the car that I can see so far. Can we get into, like, the glove compartment or anything? No. There's nothing laying in the back either, so I don't think that's going to be that useful. I can rip a tire, like, straight off that car. Oh, nice, dude. There's components right there. I'll take that. How heavy is... Do I have to worry about weight? Because I'm carrying a car tire around with me right now. Like, an entire wheel is on my back. I can't open that door right there. I don't see anything else laying around. Oh, that car is drivable. Say what? Okay, apparently we can get a vehicle. There's a rock right there. I don't know a lot, but I know that in crafting games, rocks are usually pretty useful. Can I go inside this little hut right here? I can't go inside the... Let me inside the hut. I want to be inside your hut right now. Oh, the car is like busted. Gotcha. Can I put the tire on it? Yeah, do it. Put the tire... Oh, that's new, dude. You couldn't do this before. That's sweet. I like that. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So we got a car tire on the front left for right now. If we find more parts around, I don't think it's safe to drive this car. Look at that. These guys are like wood grain gripping up in here. This car's got wood on the dash. This is one of those expensive Mercedes that you only find like in war zones. <laughs> you ever see those? <laughs> like the Mercedes that only go in war zones? Like nobody drives them on the street. But like if you go to like Uganda, there will definitely be some guy wearing gold aviators driving one of these around. Like every single time. Every time, man. Dude, I wrecked my shoulder last night. I went to the gym last night for the first time in like six months, and I was doing dips, and I was like getting it, you know? Like, I was like, all right, we're going to make progress. I'm going to get back to where I was. We're going to do these dips. We're going to knock this out. And then as I was doing that, I felt like a painful pain in my shoulder, and I was like, oh, no. And today, I think I have verified that I hurt myself. Sounds good, right? And that's why we don't do physical activity here at the Nerd Castle, because eventually, we hurt ourselves. 
I probably should have taken it slower. Like I jumped up on that dip bar like I didn't care. Like I had been working out my entire life and I hadn't just taken the last six months off. And I haven't been around, like, sitting around eating cookies and stuff and, like, not working out for six months. I probably should have taken it slower. But, frankly, I'm a motivated guy when you get me in the gym. All right? I like to make that progress. I like to knock that stuff out. I'm going to keep picking up rocks because, apparently, obsessively picking up rocks is my lot in life now. There's, like, a deer or something over there. What is that? Like, a cat? I'm a city kid. I don't know what that is. What is that right there? Like, a big horn dog? Ooh, gas? Yeah, I'll take that. All right, we got some gas. Can I get in the trunk? No. Oh, this car is fixable, too. You got any, like, car parts around here that I can steal? Like, you got anything, like, laying around that... <gasps> this one has wheels. Can I take the wheels off of it? I don't think those wheels are going to go on our, like, Warzone Mercedes, though. Can I search the tents? No. What is that right there? An inventory upgrade? Nice! Love it! I'll take it right now. What is that? Some more blueberries? I might need those. It seems possible to me that I might need those in the near future. What is this? That is revolver ammo. I don't suppose you have a revolver around to go with that, do you? What's in here? Ooh, a bandage. Nice. And a painkiller. Even nicer. Okay, can I get into the bottom drawer? Is that possible? The bottom drawer is non-interactable. Uh, there are little things, like the grass right here shouldn't be spawned inside the building. It should be, like, cut back just for presentation purposes. But, you know, early access. <gasps> a baseball bat. Okay, we have a weapon now. I can actually, like, fight back and do my thing if I have to. Like, I could put the heat on them if it comes down to it. So with basic crafting, we can make, like, a stick. We can make a lashing. We can make dried meat. We can make a basic torch if we can find some rags. we got sleeping bags. We've got bandages right there. It looks like we can make a basic wooden arrow so long as we have, like, a stick. How hard is it to make a stick? Yeah, dude, make a stick. There we go. Make a whole bunch of sticks. I want to make a bow and arrow about as soon as possible. So there's our baseball bat. We now have a cudgel that we can smack the enemy with. What is this right here? Open shelter command? I don't think I want this shelter. This shelter seems like it's not even going to have room for me, let alone, like, a group of people. I don't see anything else around. Can I save over here? Valid question. Like, does this little thing, like, save my game or anything? I don't think that it does. Okay. I wonder if I drop my loot when I die. I figure we'll probably find out by the end of the episode, yeah. Ooh, there's a hunter's... There's a... There's like a... There's a fire watch over here. Nice. Let's go up to this thing. Fire watch. This would actually be a decent place. Like, I wouldn't guarantee that this would be a place that you would find a rifle, but it's not the worst place to start. Like, we already have the revolver ammo, and if nothing else... I hear a chicken. Where's it at? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's fast, dude. That's a speedy chicken right there. That chicken doesn't play. He's got wheels on him. There we go. We got a dead chicken now. Can also get leaves. I wonder if my weapon... I don't think my weapon has durability. Like, I think it just does its thing. I feel like there's a lot of leaves around, and I could be, like, gathering these a little bit more easily. Let's go up into the tower, though. This will give us a good look at, like, the layout of the land so that we can figure out, like, whether or not there's anything around here that we want. Nothing in the trunk, unfortunately. We do have a chicken right there. Can I harvest the chicken? I probably need a knife or something, I bet, in order to harvest the chicken. Like, doing it by hand is going to be kind of a pain in the dong. Okay, well, let's go up into the fire watch. Dude, that's pretty beefy. There's like a lot of stuff. Oh, there's like an entire little area over here. Metal scraps, metal scraps, componentry, metal scraps. We got a suitcase. Nothing going on with the suitcase. We do have some rifle ammo, which is pretty sick. Okay. I'm going to drink that real fast. Why not? And then, like, hunger-wise, I don't think, like, a singular blueberry is going to do me that much good. I don't think that, like, moved my meters so slightly. On the plus side, though, we cleared out space for, like, rifle ammo and stuff, so that's good. I'll probably pick a stash spot around here, too. I don't know if we have a... Do we have a map? We don't have a map, as far as I can tell. It's a few months until winter. Oh, we actually have to worry about how warm and how cold we are, huh? 
Okay, so we'll have to pay attention to, like, our environmental situation, too. The game runs smoother than the last time I played it. It's definitely less choppy. Oh, somebody, like, crashed their car over there. Then again, in apocalyptic situations, I feel like it's a really good chance you're gonna crash your car. Or at least somebody is gonna crash their car. Oh, a crowbar. Nice. I'll take that. Crowbars are useful for, like, breaking into places and gathering things. Good burgling tool. I actually, I think we found kind of like a little sparse area over here where we can kind of find the things that we want. I can close down this menu too by pressing tab. I just realized that by pressing tab. That works. I don't think I need a can of fruit right now. So this car is actually like functional too. All right. I'm just gonna leave all the doors open, but we can get an empty bottle. That's probably for making Molotovs or something. So there's a hard stick right there. We got another stone. We've got a cola. I think it's always a good idea. Oh, free slipper! Anybody want a free slipper? That's the stuff right there. I'm just saying, get you a free slipper. Well, don't drop it. I didn't want to drop it. I wanted to eat it. Can I save the rest for later? Bummer, I don't think that I can. Oh, well, at least we're full right now. Oh, there's rags right there, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to find a spot where I can stash some of this stuff. I'm thinking that locker up in the tower is a really good place to do it, just in case. Because we've got, like, things around right now that I think are going to be useful. I mean, I guess we could just throw it in the trunk of one of these cars. How much storage space is in the trunk of a car? Enough? All right. So we'll put that in the two slot so that that's not using inventory space anymore. I'll put the rocks in there. We got the gas. We got the pills. We got another soda right there that appears to be safe, according to the game. I don't think I need to care. Well, leaves will probably stack, though. Let's put all the bullets in the car, possibly. Oh, those are matches. I don't want to put those in the car. All right, we'll put those in the car. Maybe we'll put the components in there so we're not carrying that around all over the place. All right. So, we're going to use that as our central repository for gear for right now. But I do think that we need all these rags and stuff. Like, I saw a number of recipes that required rags. So, I'm trying to be on that life right now. It looks like there's something right there. Empty bottle. Okay, I'm going to leave that stuff on the ground because I'm not that worried about it for right now. I don't see any other nearby locations. What is that right there? I think I saw something in between the trees. Another blueberry. Did I see something right there? I can't tell. Yeah, that's a little house over there, or like a van or something. We can go look. The fire watch and these little radio towers make a really good reference point for us in order to, like, navigate and find our way back. And so I'm okay with it. Like, until we find a better location to kind of set up shop permanently, we've got, like, line of sight on that tower from just about everywhere. So that'll work out for us, yeah. I don't really want to fix this car. Hey, we found something. Nice. A couple of those right there. I'm going to eat these real fast while we wait. Just like grazing right now, you know what I mean? Just grazing a little bit. Just trying to make sure that we got the stuff that we need. Can I break that right there? Nope. Apparently, that right there is the world's best constructed cardboard box. You can hit it with a baseball bat, and it doesn't even feel it. Last time we went up into one of these, it was actually pretty fruitful for us. We ended up with a lot of stuff that was pretty good. So I'm going to do it again. Do it again. Every morning there's a splatty looting all your stuff up out your fire watch. Right this second. Combat knife. Hell yeah. Components. Ooh, yeah. There it is. Okay, we got that 1911 now. We got that 1911 now. Combine those stacks. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now we got it. And we got a backpack upgrade over here. I could definitely use that. We've been really suffering from a lack of backpack space. I like to imagine my character is just walking around now with like nine backpacks on. Just not caring at all about how ridiculous he looks. Frankly, if it fits a few more pistols inside of it, though, I don't really care if I look ridiculous. Uh, we did get a combat knife, too, and that makes me curious about the chicken. So let's say that we got the chicken right there, right? Yeah! There you go! So now I'm thinking we need to figure out how we can make a campfire or whatever so we can, like, fry this chicken up. Dude, I'm trying to have a chicken fry right now. 
Trying to have a chicken fry. Oh, it doesn't stack. Brutal. Oh, that's upsetting. I don't like that at all. Uh-oh, missed. I'm going to close that. I don't know if this is a good place for us to hide. But the mist is definitely here. And I'm sort of worried about many things, in all honesty. I'm very, very worried about the possibility that I might wind up dead. So we need some feathers, we need some sewing kits, we need some rags. Oh, dude. Do the feathers stack? They do? Dude, if I get a few more rags, we can make a sleeping bag. Yeah, that'd be pretty swell. I'd be down for that. How do I make, like, a, a campfire? That's what I want to do. So we got firewood right there. But we need an axe in order to chop things up. Okay. Alright. I wonder what the key items is for. Maybe the game has, like, an emergent storyline or something? I don't know a lot. But I know that the game is called Mist Survival. That makes me think that the mist is probably not a good idea. Like, I've got myself a 1911 with a couple of shots, but six rounds ain't a whole lot. For a 1911, I think that's only one round off a full mag. So, like, we have one magazine's worth of ammunition. That means we really got to make this count if there's a bad guy around. There he is. I think he knows that I'm here. I've been sitting inside of here waiting for the mist to clear. Like, I I'm, I think he's aware of the fact that I'm in here. He just doesn't want to come up the stairs. In that situation, I feel like this is a very safe place to be. They got this place wired for 240? Nice, dude. We could actually get, like, a light bulb or something in here. Hmm. I don't know if I should go down here and square up with him. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm like kind of a fan of bad ideas. Yeah, he definitely knows I'm in here. I wasn't sure the bullet would go through the boards right there. I don't know. Should I pop around at him? That might make more noise though and bring more of them. I don't know how zombies work in this game. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of other options right now. Oh, there's, oh no. They can't get inside. I'm safe. Somewhat safe anyways. Kind of. Oh, that's another one. And another one. They have anything on them? Oh, nice, dude. They have duct tape. Yup, I'll take duct tape. Yup, what else you got? What else you got? Let me run them pockets, Brody. Got an antibiotic right there. Like, I wonder how bad my health... Oh, I did get smacked. I got smacked for sure. He gave me the old love tap. Uh, we've got salt for food preservation. And I think we have enough. Oh, dude, we need like... One more cloth, and then we'll be good to go. We got a cooking ingredient right there. All right. I mean, we are a little hungry right now. And a little thirsty, so I don't see a problem with filling up the old meters. Nice. We need, like, one more cloth, and we'll be able to do what I want to do. I like how I'm just, like, ripping the clothes off all these dead guys over here. Uh, let's see here. Status-wise, I have no abnormalities used for healing wounds and to stop bleeding. I don't have any treatments or anything going on, so I think we're all right. I think we are golden and solid right now. We got our first combat. Oh, there's another tire over here, too. I could keep working on fixing up that car. 
One thing at a time, one thing at a time. We need to go back and we need to store our stuff. So we need to go back up the hill over here to our base and start throwing some stuff in the trunk. Now that the mist is cleared, I think we're going to have a lot more productive of a time. But that was pretty intense, man. Like, they came out of nowhere. Like, they were everywhere. And that concerned me. Alright, so opening up the trunk. I'm going to put the knife over there just so it saves inventory space. Uh, we don't have any rifle weapon stuff going on right now. So I don't think we need to worry about that. I'll throw all the cloth in the back so that we got that nice and stored. I'll throw that in there. I'm going to keep the bandages with me. I'm going to keep the food and the sodas with me. But the chicken legs. I think we could put the chicken legs back up in here and not have to worry too much about that. You can also throw the leaf inside of there. Throw that inside of there. Keep that. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Good. Now we're ready to roll. How hard is it to start a fire? Can't start a fire. Can't start a fire. I don't know how because it's hard. Yeah. Even though I got guns and they go pow. Um, I don't know if I need branches right now. Branches might not be immediately necessary for what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. I'm just trying to get this place looted. Apparently they burn away in the sunlight. There's dead zombies like everywhere now that we had our first mist. Like there's legitimately dead zombies all over the place. Uh, this one's drivable over here. I suggest we come back and just drop the wheel off. Like we've got another wheel so we might as well. Let's take that and we'll throw it on. So now we got front wheels man. We started out with a vehicle that was not mobile. Now we have two wheels on this beast. Yep, there you go. Two wheels. Oh, it's looking like a real car now. Now we just got to hoist up the back end, get two more wheels on, and then... Apparently it needs an engine, a spark plug, and a battery as well. This thing has been a gutted. It's okay. We all feel gutted from time to time. That's the way life works. Not everybody gets it all. Everybody's gutted about something every now and again. Is there anything going on with this over here? Pick up logs. I guess I can drop that off at our main base at some point. Little deer hunting area. I'm going to follow the road for a bit and kind of see what we find. Okay, with our little camp over here, like I'm sort of curious. Is this our camp or is this like a different one? I think this might be... This is our camp. There's a saw right there, right? Didn't I dump a saw at some point? Let's see here. Base setting. I can make this my active base. Might as well. Let's do it. This is not actually the spot that I'm using as my base, but it'll have to do. Uh, can I sleep or anything? Like, because I got this thing like fatigue. I'm sort of wondering how it is that I sleep. Ooh, backpack upgrade. Yeah, let's do that. Backpack upgrades are good. Nothing inside that. Ooh, we got good stuff in here. Okay. A couple more matches. We got biofuel. We got an axe. So we can actually chop lumber now, so that's good. And then it looks like there's some kind of weird little lumber camp over here, maybe, or something like that. Like, somebody's planing wood over here. All right, let's go look. Like, all honestly, all in all, I see a lot of survival games that come out, and they're all really, like, rough, and they're really jagged. This game is actually doing a great job on the production front. Like, the running animation looks good, movement feels nice, aiming feels good, the guns feel poppy and bassy, and they feel like they've got some kick to them. Like, the crafting, I'm really, really interested in getting on into that. The scavenging, they give you enough stuff to keep you, like, still interested in, like, running around and finding a bit more loot, but at the same time, not enough that you find everything in one location. And so, anyways, I'm kind of, like, excited to see where this game goes as time comes along. Because, honestly, it's impressed me with this first little stay. It really has. Now, what are we looking at with inventory space right now? We're still good. Nixie Soda... Can't go inside of there. What do we have here? A stone? I don't need a stone. I could use some cloth, though. We could find some cloth around. That'd be... We've got wood. We've got leaves. Can I use that as a lashing or anything? No. Actually, kind of sparse over here. I was hoping we'd find more. Can of fruit's good. That's helpful. And then a tomato sauce can. Components. We've got a car over here. But it's one of the ones that you can't get inside of. So, unfortunately, that car is locked off from my notice. What are we looking at with our inventory? I am kind of thirsty right now. I'm pretty fatigued as well. That's what I'm curious about is how do we restore fatigue? Like, I assume we have to sleep. Like, I'm guessing that it's probably something like making the sleeping bag. If I make the sleeping bag, I'll probably put it up at the top of one of the towers. 
Yeah. Uh, that's probably what I'll do with it, just so like I can see if I can sleep or something, maybe to get my fatigue back. I assume that you heal as well while sleeping, and that's how like, the main healing mechanic works. Because as of right now, my health has been kind of sitting at the same spot for a little while. Like, it does have, like, a little green plus plus next to it, so I don't know if the regeneration is just, like, realistically slow or how that whole thing plays out. But I do think we're going to have to figure it out with time. I assume that if you keep yourself, like, hydrated and fed, you'll be in good shape, but I don't know. I'm kind of new to this whole experience. Oh, we got a full-on house over here. This is an actual compound. If I can get inside of this place, I think I'd be interested in turning this into our living situation. And it looks like we're going to find survivors at some point because it looks like it has like a base management mechanic that's integrated on into the game from what I've seen in some of the help files and some of the tutorials. It looks like you can find people and then assign them to different rooms to work on different tasks and stuff like that too. Which honestly to me is like the extra layer of depth that a game like this needs. So that you're not just like running around subsisting by yourself. Like there's other things going on in the game as well that you need to manage and take care of. It's a bird. thought I heard a zombie for a second. Uh, I do think it's a good idea to get in here. Let's see here. Make this our active base, an abandoned cabin. Yeah, we could do that. So it's a single floor. Check mark person who has permission to enter this shelter. Okay. Well, welcome to our new home. This is definitely more spacious and better than the places where we've been squatting. We got a combat knife inside of there. I'm actually just going to start unloading loot inside of this place. We've already got like a free storage spot. So why not? I'll throw the crowbar in there. We'll carry the axe with us. But yeah, we're going to have to like migrate everything from the other base over here. And I think that's going to take time and a little bit of effort. So for now, I think we'll stop the episode right here. Thank you for joining me for an episode of Missed Survival. If you guys want to see more, don't hesitate. Hit that button down below to like the video and let me know that like this was something that you liked. Literally, that's what the like button is for, I guess, on my channel. I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, it's available on Steam right now for purchase. You can buy it right this second and get involved with the early access. Uh, so far, my impressions of the game are pretty positive. Compared to the way that a lot of other survival games release, this one actually seems to be in pretty good shape. Like, the core mechanics are all there. We haven't, like, fallen through the world or broken our leg on a tree root or anything else right now. You know, that seems to plague other games that have the systems that this game seems to be planning to add. And so, anyways, I'm... Coming across reasonably positive about this one. I will be keeping an eye open on it. I will be watching the updates and kind of seeing what they add. And until then, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on into the Nerd Castle, where I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. It's been a blast, and hi to everybody.